Boom. That was a great musical interlude that we had. This episode, we have had music from Liz Day and Adriano Salentano. Yes. I think that's pretty impressive. Yes, That's it is. pretty impressive. So Creed I.I. is what's coming up. We're going to be taking a break. And then when we come back, we're going to be discussing this week's movie, which is, of course, uh, Cartoon Network's attempt to reboot the Flintstones. <laughs> oh, wait. I, I'm behind again. Uh, I keep thinking that we're discussing the Flintstones on the rocks, but that was from nine episodes ago. I don't know, though. Seriously, I think we can handle Creed in ten minutes. Really? I don't think we need another break. What the fuck was here? Okay, then let's do this. And we're back! It's time, Bunny! It's time! It's time! Yes, Bunny, my friend, it is time once again for all of us here at the Pope on Film Podcast to whip and or nene our way into the third and final segment of our big shoe. And it is said third segment, wherein we finally and eventually get around to discussing our all-new extra strength and now available without a prescription... Movie of the week! And this week we get even closer to finishing our Summer of Yo with a deep dive, okay, not too deep, a dive into the 2018 sequel to Rocky IV. It's time to discuss Creed II, or, or as I believe it's pronounced right here on the side, Creed II. Yes. Because those are two I's, so Creed II. This is a direct sequel to 1985's Rocky IV, 33 whole years later, a bit of time half Pass. Bunny, right off the bat, what are your thoughts on Creed 2? It was really hard not falling asleep. Yeah? I am such a huge fan of Rocky IV that I really liked this film. Just because I liked the fact that we were going back and taking a serious look at one of the most ridiculous rock films. You know? Yeah, I, the emotional... The emotional Godzilla bits were, were, like, the most contrived yet, I think. The emotional Godzilla bits? Oh, in between the fights? Yeah. Yeah. Um, like, the closest we got was his girlfriend went deaf. His to be fair, though, deaf. I do have to say, I think there are a lot of similarities between Creed Two and the Flintstones. Yeah. For starters, I think that Pauly has big, great gazoo vibes. Yeah. In that every time he shows up, I want to throw something at my computer screen. Yeah. For both the great gazoo and Pauly. Rocky is about as smart as Fred because both of them are dumb as a rock. True. Uh... However, Creed doesn't have a lame-ass theme park right outside of uh, the Grand Canyon. No. Like the Flintstones do, or did. There was, there was a uh, Bedrock Flintstones theme park right outside of uh, the Grand Canyon. Tom and I used to go there. Freaking Tom. Uh, we were just good friends, <laughs> in case you ask here. If you ask me, I might say something different. But, oh no, we were just really good friends. So, um, this movie came out in 2018, which was, I believe, 23 years ago. Ryan Coogler wrote and directed the last one. He did not write and direct this one because he was busy with Black Panther. So it was directed by someone else I've never heard of. It doesn't matter. But unlike the last movie, Stallone actually did co-write this script, and he was going to direct it, but he stepped down at the last second. Uh, but he did uh, write this, co-write it with someone else, which is probably why, number one, Creed Two is so predictable. And number two, uh, there's a lot more yo's in this one. How many did you... We had four. I counted six. Six? Yes. Okay. I think we should go with my six. I think I nailed it. All you were right. trying not to fall asleep. I had my wife next to me, and we were paying attention. I feel like Creed 2, though, 
is a blending of Rocky 3 and 4. Because, yes, this takes place in the Rocky 4 universe. Yeah. But the story is basically a, a, a redo of Rocky 3 in that, hey, I'm going to do this fight. Hey, I didn't win the fight. Hey, I've lost my mojo. Hey, I get it back. That's basically Rocky 3 and Creed 2. Except one of them has Mr. T and the Incredible Hulk. The, the Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like it's kind of both of those. This is a swan song for the Rocky Balboa character, as he is not in the third one, which I have heard is the best one, so there's that to look forward to at least. Well, just having Rocky not in it is going to make it better, I think, frankly. Yeah. Hey, it, 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 here's a weird fact for you, Bunny. This movie is the first Rocky movie to be released in China, which I think is effed up that they first get the eighth film in a nine-movie series. Yeah. In China, do they also start the Dark Tower series with Song of Susanna? Probably. That's pretty rough. That In China, did, do they start the legendary and highly complicated Tolkien-esque Police Academy series with Assignment Miami Beach? <laughs> I mean, Gutenberg isn't even in that one. Okay, I've got one more. I've got okay. one more. You don't start watching the epic 14-film movie franchise The Oogie Loves with Oogie Loves 7, Oogie's in Space. No, you start with the big balloon adventure like God intended. Yes. Because otherwise you'll be lost in the dense Oogie lore. Oogie Lore, Verbal Copyright 2023, the Pope on Film Podcast. Um, I will say again, if I have to choose between one of two badly written romances, I will choose Creed and Bianca over Rocky and Adrian, because they just annoy the shit out of me. Oh, I... Uh, no... She she annoys the shit out of me in this movie. Hmm. She does? Yeah, oh, I God, love she's it. always pissed off about something. I love her. I absolutely love her. Yeah? I got, I got a bit of chills when Rocky first sat down with uh, Ivan after so long. Yeah. But also, why don't you have pictures? I feel that if Rocky just had pictures of his fight with Ivan in the restaurant, this movie could have been over in like 25 minutes. Yeah. Like, that was your biggest fight. Why don't you have pictures of it at your restaurant? Fuck you. How did Adrian even get uh, I just to Russia get, by I herself? I just can't get over this, this, this whole Apollo Creed son thing. I think they did such a fucking bad job with that. You know? And it just always bothers me. It's like... you. I keep watching you get all emotional over a father you fucking never knew. Yeah. Never knew, never met him. Nothing. And I don't care But I feel visiting his grave site. You didn't know but this But I guy. feel that Michael B. Jordan is a better actor than Sylvester Stallone. Uh, yeah, well, I yes, think that Rocky, yes. I think that Rocky three and Rocky four are more fun movies. But if I'm talking about just good films and good acting, I'd probably go with the Creeds more than I would the 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 Balboas. Like a Creed it, it's, and Creed, except that it's they still were following the same formula, that, but it's just getting. Weaker and weaker and weaker still. Yeah. Okay. I, you know, I feel we have, that. We have Mickey dying. Girlfriend lost her hearing. Yeah. You know, Apollo Creed dying. Baby might need hearing aids. Yeah. You know, I mean, like, it's still following the same. Whoop. Uh, I don't know what 
we should do. And you do swaffles and poofy toots. Cut and put it on a cookie or something. Spread it on your